Welcome. This is Grow and Preserve and I'm Carter and I'm glad you're back with me today. We're gonna make some hot pepper sauce, some hot sauce for my husband. He loves it really hot, so we're gonna see how that goes. I have some Sugar Rush Peach peppers, which are quite toasty. I have some hot cherry peppers. I have some, you know, I forget what those are. I don't remember what that is, but it's a, it's a hot one. Oh, it's a Santa Fe Grand. And I have, these are Chinese Five Spice. And these little guys, these tiny little guys here are Tabascos. So I just have a couple of these ready. I have two plants of Tabascos and I'll do a sauce that is all Tabasco at, uh, at one point when those are all ready. But today we're gonna mix it up. Now it's important as you do this, if you have reds in here, don't mix in any green hot peppers like a Hungarian wax or something because green and red mix together make brown. So keep your green hot peppers for one sauce and your sort of red and orange and peachy colors for another sauce. So I'm gonna chop these up and we're gonna put some vinegar in and then we're gonna put it on the stove for a bit. Now, my, because my husband likes it hot, I am going to leave most of the seeds in here. I'm gonna just set you down here so you can see a little bit better what we're doing. Here's my pan, I'm gonna put everything in. Move that off to the side. So I am just going to chop and drop. Seeds and all, these have been washed. They have all come straight out of the garden. And there we go. So these, these are the Tabasco peppers. I'm just gonna cut the edge there, throw them in there. I'm gonna let these steep for probably 20 minutes in the vinegar. And then we're gonna stick them in the blender and pour it away. All of these seeds will be ground up to a very high speed blender. So that'll take care of the seeds. If you don't want your hot sauce quite so hot, you can either take the seeds out now or you could not put it in such a high speed blender put it in a, or put it on lower speed perhaps. And then you can um, run it through a sieve and so you can get all the seeds out. This is the Sugar Rush Peach Pepper. I have two plants of these. One has been so prolific and the other has only had two or three on it. So I'm hoping that by picking all of these, I'll get another good round. I'd love to do one that is just Sugar Rush Peach and some regular peaches. I think that would be a delicious, maybe turn that one into a barbecue sauce. I think that would be wonderful. So this is going to end up too hot for me, but just right for him. This is that Santa Fe Grand. My knife is not as sharp as it should be to take care of that. done. Another hot cherry pepper. These are delicious. Um, canned up in vinegar as rings. I do quite a bit of that. I've already done a lot of it this summer or this summer already. I put that on our sandwiches. My husband likes it in a salad too. And I have another sugarless peach. And you'll notice that I'm using a plastic cutting mat on top of my board here because I don't want all these hot pepper juices <clears throat> soaking into my board. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Stuff it up to breathe them in. Okay, so that was seven or eight peppers. Oh, wash my hands. <coughs> okay. Now, a little vinegar in here. I'm just using plain white vinegar. 
I'm going to do about a cup and a half. I'm going to put that on the stove, bring it up to a boil, and then I'm going to let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll be back with you and we'll throw it in the blender and turn it into hot sauce. Okay, we are back, ready to make our hot pepper sauce. This has been on the stove. I brought it to a full boil, turned it down to simmer, simmered for about 15, maybe 20 minutes, turned it off. It's been cooling for about 10 now. So I'm going to put it into the blender. I'm going to take all of the peppers first and then a little bit of the vinegar. And if we need to thin it out, we'll still have plenty of vinegar. The steam from this is too hot for me. I got to tell you. Not hot from a temperature standpoint, but it'll make you choke to death. But my husband loves it. Now, there are a whole bunch of seeds in here. Let me see if I can get some of those. A little bit of the liquid. All right. Ooh, good grief. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna close this up, put it on its base, and I'm gonna blend that up for just a minute. We're gonna do it long enough to get the seeds blended as well. So here we go. All right, let's take a look. This is gonna be something. Don't choke on the fumes. Woo! I don't know whether that is heat from the hot peppers, <coughs> excuse me, or heat from the stove. It could be either. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, gorgeous. Okay, I don't even think that that needs to be thinned. Anymore. So I'm gonna run this through sieve just to catch any seeds that did not get blended into smithereens and then I'll pour it in the jar. Now, if you're gonna do this in your blender you better make sure you give it a heck of a wash it before you go putting a morning banana smoothie in there. Quite a surprise in the morning. All right, so I'll just mush it through. You can see there's some seeds that didn't get blended up. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, the fumes. It's hot. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit left in there that we don't need in the hot sauce. I'm gonna move that aside. And now we have a nice, thin, beautiful, pourable sauce. I'm not gonna can this because my husband goes through it too quickly. So I'm just going to pour it into a jar. Look how gorgeous that is. Absolutely beautiful. So I use those kind of pale orange sugar rush peach peppers. I use some red peppers and it just blends up to this beautiful, beautiful orange color. Let me bring you up so you can actually see that a little bit better. Isn't that gorgeous? And he loves it. It's too hot for me. So tell me down in the comments below whether you like hot sauce. Maybe someone you know likes hot sauce. If so, how hot do you like your hot sauce? I'm a, um, I'm a medium hot sauce girl. This is a hot hot sauce. So anyway, thank you so much for being with me today. I'm so glad you could join me again. I love making things from whatever I can grow in the garden, it, quite frankly, from whatever I can buy at the store too. So I'm glad you're here. I hope you'll like the video. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll try some hot sauce. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.